On this episode of China Uncensored, is the U.S. any better than China? Hi. Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. The big news last week was the U.S. Senate's release of its CIA torture report. Mm, what's that? No, no, I'm completely fine. I've just been awake for the last 180 hours. Seven and a half days, no sleep, and I'm totally okay. Mm. Now, I haven't been able to read the report for myself, but I'm sure it's not like the CIA has been hiding anything nefarious from the public. Like waterboarding? Please. More like waterboard. I mean, how bad could that be? Like a series of near drownings. Okay, that sounds pretty bad. But hey, you know, the CIA had to do it to get the kind of intel that saved lives and stopped terrorism. They never got information about imminent attacks and didn't learn anything they didn't already know. Well, I remember CIA Director Michael Hayden saying they did get valuable information. They lied about it. Okay, but I mean, the people they were torturing were terrorists. They weren't all terrorists. Apparently, at least one person was just a case of misidentification. <laughs> what kind of idiot approved this thing? So when the U.S. Senate released its findings from an investigation into CIA investigation techniques, they found that the enhanced interrogation techniques they were using were actually discredited coercive interrogation techniques such as those used by torturous regimes during the Cold War to elicit false confessions. It was so bad that even the people doing the torturing were disturbed by it. The CIA did a terrible thing that the U.S. needs to face up to and make sure never happens again. So from Beijing's perspective, clearly the moral of the story is, Chinese authorities should be allowed to torture as many people as they want. Not that they torture people. Of course they don't. You might have missed that moral, though, through the huge amount of schadenfreude in Chinese state-run media's in-depth reporting on the CIA torture story. For example, Communist Party mouthpiece Xinhua wrote an editorial condemning the U.S. for doing nothing about its own human rights problems. That's right. Why isn't the U.S. talking about its own problems? Except, of course, when the U.S. Senate investigates the country's intelligence agency and releases a fully unclassified report to the public detailing the terrible atrocities they committed. But look. I'm not trying to say the U.S. is better than China or that the CIA is somehow justified for what it did. I'm saying torture is bad, especially when the people being tortured haven't committed any crimes. But the reason we now know about this is because people in the U.S. government spent six years investigating what happened. And now things can be done to stop it. No one's watching in China. There's no system of checks and balances that's going to suddenly find the National People's Congress asking the secret police if they've been torturing political prisoners again. So there needs to be people and governments outside of China keeping an eye on things, which really, it seems like they happen since the Chinese regime still does basically whatever it wants, while U.S. companies keep tripping over each other to throw money at it. Also, the CIA torturing people, while completely terrible, doesn't mean I or any other individual no longer has a right to want to see a better China. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a letter to write to Congress. Try doing that in China. <laughs>